guys, it's Derek from the Olive Oil Co. Today we are making cranberry rosemary chicken. It's gonna be delicious. The only two products you're gonna need from our store, guys, is the rosemary agrumato olive oil as well as our cranberry pear white ball samic. Now, you will also need, as what Gordon Ramsay says, roll chicken. Um, this has the leg and the thigh, so we are going to use this and put our marinade all over top of it. So, of course, let's get to our marinade. So for this marinade, you are going to need your food processor or something like it. Um, we are going to throw our quarter cup of cranberries. If you have fresh, great. If not, you can always thaw some frozen ones. We're going to throw those in there. We are also adding three cloves of minced garlic. Toss that in there. We also have two tablespoons of soy sauce. And with all that in there, we are going to add quarter cup of our cranberry pear white balsamic. As well as two tablespoons of our rosemary olive oil. Or as Gordon Ramsay would say, olive oil. Now that that's all together, we're just gonna go and plug this in and blitz it up. So as I said earlier, we have our drumstick and thigh of the chicken here. You can use either of these or a combination of whatever you want for chicken. Uh, obviously your dish may need to be bigger depending on how much you're making for everyone. So at this point, we have our marinade. I'm just going to pour this over the chicken. This marinade smells amazing, by the way. Get that nice sweetness of the cranberry. Got the nice uh, savory of the rosemary coming through. Get all that goodness out of there. And what you want to do as well is you can even lift up your chicken a little bit. Get some of that underneath, those juices. So both sides of this can get marinated nicely. You just want to get the tops of these covered nicely as well with everything. That looks pretty good. So at this point, you want to cover this. We're going to throw it in the fridge. You could actually marinate this from 30 minutes up to 24 hours, depending on when you want to get this made. So we're just going to uh, let this sit in the fridge for a few hours. You want to take your chicken out of your fridge 30 minutes before you go to cook it. Uh, you do want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. And next, we're just going to show you how to prepare your chicken. So you just want to scrape off all the cranberry bits off the top of your chicken. What's funny is it's actually changed the chicken to a pinkish color uh, from the cranberries. Uh, so what you want to do at this point is once it's been the cranberry bit has been scraped off, take some of the rosemary oil just baste the top of the chicken here. Got about a tablespoon in here. All right, now that that is set, I'm just gonna take our Favuzi Fleur de Sel. See that there? That's okay. All right. So we're going to move on and just season the tops of our chicken with our Fleur de Sel. Once that's seasoned, we're just going to take our cranberries here, just going to shake them all in. They're all kind of a little willy-nilly in there. We can always just kind of get them in there. And then we're going to take our sprigs of rosemary. We're just going to kind of get on top of the chicken, around the chicken.
So once that's all ready, you want to get it into your oven and bake for 20 to 22 minutes. Now, of course, depending on how much chicken you're making and your cut, you may need to go a little bit longer just to make sure it's the temperature. So as you can see, the skin is nicely browned. What you want to do after that is just collect all your rosemary bits. Get them off here. Smells amazing, by the way. And once we have all those, I'm just going to take some extra cranberry pear white balsamic. I'm just going to baste the top of our chicken with it. Oh, all these smells. I'm so hungry. It smells so good. Once the cranberry pear is on there, we are just going to pop it in here for a broil. And you want to broil for five to seven minutes, so make sure you keep an eye on it. So this really didn't take too long. Nicely broiled, we got some beautiful, beautiful color on there. So we are going to get this plated up. Oh, this smells. Cranberry, rosemary. Let's get a little bite off this. Uh, where am I gonna attack this? I'll have to attack it right here. Look at that juice. Mmm. That nice savory with the, the sweetness of the cranberry. Oh man. This is a delicious chicken recipe, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. And once that's done, I'm gonna turn your oven to broil. I'm just gonna take this down. Around. Hey guys, that was way too far. Guess you really can't see it though, can you? So we could cut to it now. Like, as well, you will need as what Gordon Ramsay calls raw chicken. Um, these are beautiful chicken legs with the thighs uh, from. These are the Niku chicken, right?